Hello and welcome to the AHRI video update. I'm Nicole Snyder, the Communications Coordinator at AHRI, and with me today is Michael Agilia, our Senior Manager of International Affairs. We're sure that you've seen in the update that AHRI has been attending many international shows over the past month and even more over the past few years. So today we, we have Michael here with us to talk about why do we attend these shows in the first place, what are AHRI's overall goals in, in making an international presence. So Michael, can you start us off and tell us why do we attend these shows in the first place? Mm -hmm. Sure. Um, it basically falls into three categories. Uh, one, we're there to support our members mm -hmm. and our certification participants. Mm -hmm. Two, we're there to make sure that companies that are not currently our members, not currently our certification participants, that they have all the information they need about our services. Um, and then also it gives uh, us an opportunity to uh, involve ourselves in a lot of side events, a lot of s workshops that are on the margins of these, of these meetings. And how do we choose which show to attend? Because we know that there are many worldwide. Sure. Um, we try to be strategic in picking the ones that provide the most visibility mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in certain markets that are high growth markets and potential could be certification participants uh, and, and members as well. Uh, the second reason is what I mentioned about the events on the margins. So, um, you know, in, in global issues, climate change, ener energy efficiency, oftentimes we're invited to speak at these events, participate, and, and, and sometimes there actually are HRI-led events. Mm -hmm. yeah. So these side events that you keep referring to, can you delve into them a little bit more um, and maybe how do they tie into AHRI's overall global policies? Well, in the past, the, the exhibitions were solely about products and services. Mm -hmm. And nowadays, increasingly, they're not just about products and services, they're about global issues that are affecting our industry. Mm -hmm. For example, climate change, we have issues uh, such as refrigerant choice and research on alternative refrigerants. We also have issues uh, for uh, training and certification of contractors um, so that we can implement uh, the, what's coming out of those climate change or energy efficiency regulations. Mm -hmm. um, and, and energy efficiency, um, so-called minimum energy performance standards, it gives us op an opportunity while there to sit down with government officials um, so we can learn about and influence um, new or proposed MEPS, minimum energy uh, performance standards. Um, and it becomes an opportunity to make sure that they know that ASHRAE standards, HRI standards should be used as a package uh, to both set those energy efficiency standards and also as a mechanism for compliance uh, to, uh, for market surveillance of, of, of uh, that regulation. So it's really important in this that we, um, we work together with other industry associations, our counterparts in other, other geographies, so that we speak with one voice uh, mm -hmm. and we work, work alongside them. And with all these great opportunities, do we have a way of measuring whether or not we sort of accomplish what we set out to do? Yeah, uh, one way to measure is uh, more participants in our global certification program. That certainly is, is, uh, is a metric. Uh, we also, when we're attending the side events or we're speaking at a, at a side event, that gives us more visibility to non-members mm -hmm. and potential certification participants. But basically the best result that comes out of actually being at, uh, at these shows is just handshakes with, with people and, and getting the relationship building aspect of it that you just can't, you can't do another way. Well, thanks so much for meeting with us today, Michael. Sure, you're welcome. And please stay tuned for the next AHRI video update.